So over this time, there's going to be a lot of um, celebrations and transitions, but um, I wanted to applaud him today as we continue to applaud him throughout this transition period. So now, uh, take questions. Sure. George? Uh, Chief, I'm sorry. Go no, no, go ahead. <laughs> when you took over, like, as you say, like the city was in a moment of crisis, what I'm curious about is how you, you believe that the role of a police chief has changed from that moment in June in 2020 to today. Like, what do you have to do differently as a leader then compared to your leadership responsibilities and focus today? Wow, that's a great question. Uh, one is uh, clearly recognize that the bond that we continue to work with our community and our department, as much as we worked on it before those incidents of 2020, it recognized that we have to work even harder to, to strengthen those uh, relationships. But COVID threw us a, a curve that no one had anticipated, that not only did you, would we have to build those uh, coalitions in a time that we couldn't get together. And so it gave me the ability to recognize that we had to use every technique, every level of technology to strengthen the relationship, both internally and externally. You have to understand that the men and women of the police departments, not just in Atlanta, but nationwide, were going through a very uh, uh, moral, uh, mora moral uh, downgrade. And we had to strengthen that. And so you have to rely on your leadership uh, to make sure that your messages get out. You have to continue to support your mayor. Uh, even when you don't align, uh, you have to support your mayor. Uh, and so that's what it was. It was that you, and, and I had to realize the mayor talked about uh, where we were with our collaborations. One of the things that I, I immediately had to do is build relationships back with our federal and local and state partners uh, to be able to move our city forward. Mayor, You asked a lot of questions in one. <laughs> so, so uh, yes, I will be a part of the interview process for sure. Um, two, uh, that process will be national. Um, we're going to go on a national search, and I think that gives us a lot of uh, insight into where you know police departments are across the nation. But I have a hint and a suspicion that this person, uh, that the local leadership, uh, local law enforcement will uh, really have um, – a, a lot of candidates that are, uh, you know, come to the top uh, because we have a lot of great people that are from this police department as well as uh, adjacent uh, local uh, jurisdictions around us that have a Metro Atlanta understanding. So while national in scope, um, there are some, um, you know, local talent that, that, that are definitely going to be uh, rising up to the top. Um, and then the question about the overall process. So I plan to start with getting input from the community and then also input from the rank and file. So I plan to have some listening sessions, uh, some input um, uh, opportunities, whether those are, some of them are gonna be digital, meaning surveys and questions that you have about what would you like to see in a police chief, what would you like to see in police uh, leadership and in the force, um, but also uh, some where we're gonna be doing town halls in various mm -hmm. quadrants of the city to kind of just talk to citizens, have them share their ideals about what they'd like to see in a police chief. Uh, we'll get all that input, make sure we take that into consideration as we go down the path of uh, selecting a new chief. Mayor Newman, you thought that their Chief Bryant's resignation has been effective in June. Presumably, if you don't hire a new chief by then, you'll have to appoint an interim chief um, or something like that. Um, do you worry about the stability of the department going into summer, uh, given the potential flux there? Actually, your question answers it because the way that we're doing this is to make sure we have an orderly transition. Um, chief is retiring. and. Uh, that's going to happen in June. So between now and June, we'll get this opportunity to start this process of getting uh, information out to the public, start our input gathering process. And over time, we will begin the process of uh, selecting an interim. Um, I don't believe by any stretch that we'll have a, 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 the whole process uh, filled out by the time 
chief retires, so there will be some overlap where we'll go to an interim state before we select our final chief. But this is all about being prepared uh, for uh, have our summers uh, summer worked out because we don't want to go into summer without you know the chief and some kind of leadership for us to transition orderly. And so all of this has been done thoughtfully to make sure we're prepared. Can I follow just briefly? Do you uh, did you ask the chief to stay on a little longer? I'm sorry. What did you say? Did you ask him to stay on a little longer? So that, so that you wouldn't have to have to plan. No, Chief and I actually came to this conclusion and this decision together. Um, timing lined up just uh, just right. So uh, we asked each other for it, exactly what you're hearing us talk about today. Well, what's, what's next? next? Yeah, so um, I have been uh, working with uh, Chief Bryant every single morning. We actually talk at 8 or 8.30 each morning. So I get an understanding of what happened overnight. Putting in place uh, each day, I get to share my input of some of the things I've heard that might uh, cause us room for, uh, you know, some changes based on the weekend things or some um, some issues. So we've had a lot of communication, but we also have a lot of data that's coming out of uh, crime stats, etc. So there are things that I'm encouraged by. Um, there has been a reduction in a number of these property crimes. These men and women have really been doing an extreme extremely good job this year at cutting down a lot of this crime and a lot of things that you don't get to see I get to see that that shows me that they are out there working arrests are up uh, for these crimes and so that gives me uh, gave me a lot of good information that I was encouraged by meaning that the morale is up these individuals are going out there putting their lives on the line doing fantastic work but there are some areas that I still see that we need improvement in and in those areas, we're going to continue to work hard on them. Uh, the men and women of this uh, police department are already well aware of what those issues are. Uh, homicides are just too high for my, uh, for any of us, right? We, we have uh, homicides and rapes are uh, higher than we want them to be. And so we're going to continue to focus on that. Not to say that the, the solution to homicides are all in the hands of the police force. So that's why we have our nightlife division. That's why we are uh, working on our anti-violence and our uh, community response uh, solutions, but also um, being very forthright and um, strong at our gangs, our guns, illegal guns, trafficking, as well as all those individuals that are out there doing robberies and, and, um, and aggravated assaults that come as a result of that. So in short, there's some things I'm encouraged by, but then there are some things I know we need to improve and we're going to go out there and get it done. Well, what I'm looking for is for uh, the police force to continue to uh, live up to protect and serve, um, to continue to protect the citizens of Atlanta, the visitors of Atlanta, but to serve them. That community-based policing has to happen, um, and they're doing it. Uh, we have to continue to increase the number of men and women on our force, which is uh, why we're aggressively going after this goal of 250 for this year, and we've been doing that. So uh, the chief has to be the chief recruiter in charge as well as chief. Um, I'll be the chief chief recruiter in charge, making sure people want to come. But uh, the chief has to know how to get out there and recruit so that we can uh, reduce some of the pressures that are on uh, the individuals that we see right here because they're running around doing a lot of work and uh, for us to be able to do the community policing as well as the just normal patrols you need more 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 bodies more people and so being a good recruiter being someone who can actually help us implement our community-based strategies um, mm -hmm. and also uh, to be um, have a good ear to the street uh, so that we can get ahead of crime, uh, to be more preventative in nature, working with our uh, uh, nuisance apartment complexes, our uh, cl clubs and these areas where we know violence occurs. Uh, so I guess I'm looking for a chief that knows Atlanta, 
um, that loves Atlanta, that understands the police force that's here, but also is ready to bring in I any new innovative solutions to get ahead of crime and to get out there and do this 21st uh, century policing that we want to do, which is um, related to uh, you know crime, uh, community-based policing and crime prevention. Last question. What's next? <laughs> Uh, a much needed vacation. Uh, I'll tell you, um, you recognize when it's time, to be honest with you. Uh, I took off for vacation this week, and I've been in this uniform every single day this week. Uh, and so it's a very demanding job, but, and it's just time for a true vacation. And so that's what I'll do, uh, and I, I, as, as I stated earlier, I'm very committed to the city, very committed to this police department. I will always uh, be very supportive and behind the scenes, assisting as needed. Uh, as, as the question was asked earlier about the transition uh, or what level, what happens with this uh, interim chief, uh, whoever's in, in this seat, uh, they will have my full support and, and, and cooperation uh, because I believe that you, uh, I believe in this city, I believe in this department, I believe in this mayor and this administration. Uh, so there will always be some level of service to this city and this department from me. Thank you. He tried to get away this week, but vacation is here this week. <laughs>